Hey, what's up, Snell? Welcome to a new episode of Vinyl Vinyl Vlog. Today, oh yeah, we're going to be taking a look at the picture disc reissue of the Herits drawing down the moon. Nuclear War Now reissue. While we play the... 2020 Darkness Shall Rise cassette reissue. Limited edition of 500 copies under official exclusive license from Spine Farm. So I did not repurchase the cassette. But because I have the Oath of Black Blood picture disc. I also decided as a bonus for a job I did doing guest vocals. I figured, you know what? I'll one up from the Cult Records uh, version, which is also licensed with Sp Spine Farm. But, um,. This is my original reissue. Um, let me see what year this was, but black vinyl. This is like one of my favorite black metal records of all time. Uh, I do not have a date on here, but this is the only information you get. None of the amazing promo photos that were taken during this time period. And, yeah. If you're looking for a copy of the record, and just for some reason the Nuclear War Now version sold out, then fucking A. Go ahead. But it's just a very straightforward, you know... But Nuclear War Now was not playing any fucking games. And I honestly regret and wish I would have got a 1993 promo tape the way, like, with the Oath of Black Blood, you got the promo tape. I wish I would have pulled the trigger on that, but just for one, this 1993 classic is just one of the best black metal records ever. I don't care what anyone says. Nuclear War Now even went back to NASA and got the original photograph. So we don't have a copy of a copy of a copy of a copy. So, like, just look at that difference. Like, seriously, that, that's a big, big difference right there. Now, I know some of you are probably like, oh, that looks sicker. It looks way more cold. Nah, that is fucking awesome. And same with, like... Because, like, you get zero of, like, the actual, like, you know, drawing down the moon shit. Like, again, like, oh my goodness. Some of the best promo photos ever. And just look at that glossy goodness. And again, in comparison, just, it's not even a comparison, honestly. Yes, it's the same record, but... To me, I mean, already, it's just like, fuck yeah, you know? Because you also get this monstrosity. And if you have the black LP, take a look at the actual picture on the LP. Because I, I think that this reissue just says, yeah, it, it's... Not even close. It's just the logo, title, 
etc. The reissue, the non-picture disc version, has, like, there was a misprint on the original first press, and they went so far as to include it, which I think is just such a, a amazing, like, little attention to detail that they didn't need to do, but I'm glad they did, because... I just, oh shit, I just think stuff like that's really fucking cool, and I love Nuclear War Now's own Spine Farm logo, but again, some of the best black metal promo photos ever exist in this book right here, and yeah, you wanted to know something about the record? Yeah, just like the Oath of Black Blood, they have you covered. We have the Imprecation reissue also, but I'll go over that in a different video. You get the lyrics, and every single print ever of this bad boy, which I think is fucking cool. Well, pretty much every, I think it's, yeah, it is every, like starting here. I think that's the one where, yeah, this is the original Spine Farm version. And there's the cassette version. Whoa, this says Drawing Down the Moon and Electronic uh, Doom Synthesis. Sick. I really wish I would have got the promo. It, like, kind of bothers me that I didn't, but, you know, it happens. The reissue I have is not on here. I don't think so, unless it's on the... Nah, there's the original DAT tape. But... There's that glorious promo. One day, I'll find a copy of it. But there's that original DAT tape. Fucking so sick. There, like, that photo is so fucking cool. With all, like, the original shit. I'm sorry. Like... Original photo taken by NASA on the Apollo 12 mission. Hell yeah. Actual corpse paint instead of straight up war paint. And here's the books that the record's based on. Some live photos and Holocausto just being a fucking maniac. I'm curious where they got the blood from. I love this riff. Here's an interview. There's so much cool shit. Like, you have no idea. You need to just, like, legit. Because to me, this is an essential record period. Like, this is badass. Half corpse paint, half regular. I, I like that type of shit. It just looks so fucking gnarly. I'm hoping this one photo's in here. Like, here's more of, like, the war paint look. Which is, I really like. To me, that that's Beharit, you know? There's like a ritual going on with a pig's head. And I think a nun slaughter t shirt. Not sure if that influenced the activities. And a regular Beharit promo photo. And this is the only time this lineup worked together. And this record 
wasn't even supposed to like come out, but it boggles my mind because it's such a fucking classic. Like the end of a legend, and like it's talking about like Beharit calling it a day and shit. Although I don't speak fin Finnish, I just from reading, you know, some of the shit, I just put it together. And then from like learning about certain things that were happening behind the scenes. But Herit has recorded their second album now, and once again, Holocausto has kicked other members out of the band. Chuck Schoender Syndrome, eh? Eh? So here's the interview with Holocausto. Vengeance. Venomizing attack. So if you ever were curious, now you know. And there's more. It, and this is one of my favorite photos ever. The live photo. Just fucking so sick. It legitimately looks like a dead body. Amazing. Is that... Uh, of course it does not have a name. Oh, Black Jesus Live. Yeah, hell yeah. So sick. photo good one just such a great fucking dark oh my goodness just, just looks like a sick fucking show I really don't think they know they knew what they had when they made this record I mean they were gonna break up for fuck's sakes like this dude's got a holiday in Cambodia shirt on. That's dope. Oh, it's a Napalm Death shirt. That's not a Nun Slaughter shirt. I apologize. Classic, classic shit right here. So, now here's why I got the picture disc version. Aside from already having the black LP from that cult reissue, that's the actual record label, but again, bad ass. And why? Like, I don't get it. Like, what? Don't change shit like that. I'm sorry, but, like, just don't. Like, that looks way fucking cooler. Why would you change that photo? And again, just, oh my goodness. Why would you keep this out of the reissue? It just hurts my head. And then, here's why I got the picture disc. Aside from having it to go with my other copy. fucking beautiful. Wow. Everything about this just screams holy fuck. Yes. And this was a bonus for doing guest vocals on a like crust Hardcore? I don't even know how to what to call it. 